I just became the happy owner of a new Bamboo Lab A1. Hello my friends, this is 3D Shamrock Channel and my name is Florin. I didn't record the unboxing and assembling, but the printer is partially assembled. There are two main components, the base assembly with the printing bed and the vertical frame for X and Z movement. Then I performed the initial calibration guided by the informations shown on the touch screen. It's quite clear and intuitive. It took about 40-45 minutes. The printer has print bed level calibration vibration compensation and also at the beginning of each print the flow compensation you may see here the dynamic flow calibration in progress This is the vibration compensation. At the beginning of each print, some filament is purged through the nozzle somewhere outside the printing area. And the result, it's a flawless first layer. You don't have to babysit this 3D printer. Here is how the second layer looks like. Very good as well. Then I printed several objects. Starting with some good old benches, which turned out pretty good. I printed also a benchmark, which has some stringing problems, but otherwise it looks also quite good. I have to say it again, the first layer is flawless, and the bottom text looks very, very good. The overhangs are okay up to 60 degrees. I printed also a vase, a taller object. And I designed and printed some clamps for my personal use. The printer handled very well the internal and external threads. For this kind of clamps I made also a box to put in to put in smaller items such as cables or memory sticks or something similar. Then I installed the printer software Bamboo Studio, because this printer has a closed ecosystem. You cannot use other slicers unless you use the so-called developer mode. But in this case, you will lose a lot of features. Anyway, I am not using another software. I want only to make my projects. You may send the files for printing from your laptop or mobile phone to the printer via the Bamboo Cloud, since the printer has a integrated camera, which doesn't have the best quality, you may supervise remotely the printer activity and eventually stop it if a problem occurs. Conclusion 
I enjoyed very much working with this 3D printer. I didn't have too many printers so far. This is my fourth one. But so far I have zero problems with the first layer, which is very, very important for me. The printer is also fast and silent and is a very good choice for the price I paid, 350 euro. This is my small review so far. If you like it, please give a like, share and subscribe. And I wish you happy 3D printing, friends.